ranking as intended. Party time! Party time! More waifus for Mistia! Alright, we're still trying to get Nitori to show up more often. And I have to talk to Kaguya. And it looks like these three are gonna hit rank one soon. Jesus statue! Work! I need so much more tofu because it's so mild. Hello, what are you doing, Miss Kaguya? You should know me just by observing I'm enjoying the view of a bonsai. Huh, this leafless branch? Right now it looks like this, but once it blooms, you'll see a beautiful seven-colored bouquet. I've never seen any plants that can do that, because bonsai is a plant exclusive to the lunar capital known as Udambara. It has uh, the same name as a legendary flower on Earth that blooms once every 3,000 years. 3,000 years? That's how long it takes for the Earth version to blossom. This one from the lunar capital takes longer. Even if 3,000 years have passed, it won't grow any new leaves on or branch, let alone bare fruits. That really is nightmarishly long. By the way, I required every man who wished to propose to me to acquire a jeweled branch of Horai, which was actually the blooming branch of the elven Udambara. So just asked him to complete an impossible request. That was my original intention, however, it's actually only possible for Udambara to grow its gorgeous seven-colored bouquet on Earth. Hey, why can a plant from the Lunar Cap only grow and flourish on Earth? Because it's a plant that exclusively utilizes filth and corruption as its nutrients. But once I hear it's still leafless, that's because of my ability I bestowed eternity upon this place. I'm getting more and more confused now. There's a lot of reasons for it. You probably won't, won't understand if you've been, even if I explain them to you. For now, I've already withdrawn the eternity magic. Does that mean it's only a matter of time until it blossoms? Yes, or maybe when I find something I enjoy doing this no matter will, will blossom. Hey, why? Because by then my heart would probably be more corrupted. <laughs> I still don't get it. However, the seven-colored holdai branch, Miss Koga, can you draw draw down what a fully blossomed holdai branch looks like? I want to try to make a dish that looks like it. I, I can never understand what resonance on Earth we're thinking. More of the more I'm confused, the more I'm amused. Then could you, if you want to get my calligraphy, then you'll have to solve my puzzle. For you, just make me a legendary cuisine with a cultural background. It should be much easier than my five impossible quests. I'll try my best. You know, I'm gonna invite you guys. Do all my purchases and coin stuff. Oh, how convenient! I got a Buddha jumps over the wall from my uh, from the uh, the froggy coins. Do all my usual usual shopping. Hi, Kogi, I have your food. You solved it. Here, <laughs> therefore, I bestow upon you my calligraphy. Thank you very much. Please come to my izakaya. Where, when I finish developing it, I too am looking forward to what kind of holdai branch you can grow. Also, come on by. I'm too bored. I forgot so you got to do slave work for me. Buy all my stuff, make my slave work. Help Sakuya out. Easy enough. At least it wasn't seafood. Chat with you guys for love points. Work! Everybody here is level 1 waiting for the next recipe. Or to eat the actual recipe, I guess we'll have to do the same thing here. I'll have 12 NPCs waiting to try shit. This might give me a pine nut recipe, though. We bumped into each, other, into each other a few times now. Does the little sparrow want to become a hermit? No. <laughs> oh my, what a pity. How empathetic. Um, a yokai can become a hermit, too? Of course, even an oni. As long as you put your heart into it, anyone can become a her hermit. What, like Kasen? Oni, what happens when you become a hermit? You get to be immortal and live a life free of any worries. Free of worries, but I heard that hermits must endlessly train, otherwise their bodies would age rapidly. Instead of suffering like that, I'd rather stay a yokai. So the life of a hermit sought after by everyone is just suffering to you? <laughs> it is what it is. Becoming a hermit is hard and boring. I've met a few hermits and they're always reading those, what's it called, mantras? I don't get it at all. If you could live until the end of time just by reciting some mantras, would you pass up the opportunity? What's the point of having a longer life if you have to spend it all on boring things like that? You'd just be adding more boredom to your life. Why are you staring at me like that? Say, little sparrow, you might have what it takes to become a great hermit. Say what? <laughs> Would you become my disciple? I can help you, you know. Help me? Help you attain immortality. Rest assured, I know a lot of point of painless ways. No, no need. Good grief, it can't hurt to learn more, can it? You don't have to tell me. The ultimate goal in, ta in Taoism is to live forever, right? Is that a bad thing? Well, I guess not. Of course not. For an average person, becoming a hermit is a long and treacherous journey, but as a hermit who can pass through walls, creating shortcuts is a breeze for me. The shortcut to becoming a hermit is simple. Just do what I say and go to sleep. When the time is ripe, wake up and you'll be able to become a hermit. What kind of wicked sorceress are you? Spelled wrong. It's wicked hermit, get it right. <laughs> In any case, it doesn't sound all that reliable. There's more than one type of hermit. The Masoleum Saint was also resurrected with this method. See, may I present the Shikai-san? By Saint, you mean Miss Miko? 
Wasn't she asleep for a thousand years? Time flies when you're asleep. No, 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 me and Kyoko promised we'd then just become Shikaisen together. Huh? But Kyoko is a Buddhist disciple. Can't find something more pretentious than that. I just have to give her a little whisper and she'll convert it in a heartbeat. Kyoko would never do that. Oh dear, did that strike a nerve? I never wanted to become a hermit in the first place. I'd rather spend my time researching new dishes instead of wasting on meaningless talks about immortality. Haha, <laughs> the temptation of immortality lost to a mere dish? How interesting. So like I said, we aren't on the same wavelength at all. Come now, no need to treat me as an enemy. If new dishes are what you desire, I can help with that as well. Do you have honey and some spare chestnuts? Well, I do. Mind bringing them over? I'll teach you a little culinary magic trick. And then I'll be right back. I have them already. Here you go, you came back after all. You aren't messing with me, are you? Would, you, would I do that? Watch closely now. Oh, directly roasting the chestnuts and honey. It's a very simple dish. A chestnut's mild and rich flavor can effectively balance out the external sweetness. Try one. It's true, a honey-coated chestnut does have more flavor to it. If you train under me, I can teach you many more dishes. I'll think about it. Alright, you too. Oh, good timing. Miss Veg- <coughs> Miss Tokiko. Tojiko, is something the matter? Seems you're still pretty terrified of me as a vengeful spirit. It's fine, you can go. Um, yes. That's fine. Just just tell me what you want. What a bashful little spirit. You see, there's, this flavor, there's a favor I'd like to ask of you. A vengeful spirit asking a favor from a yokai. It's because the place in question is sensitive to folks like us. I don't know anyone else to ask. Oh, so what is this favor? I buried some sweet potatoes in the cemetery of the yokai temple, but now an umbrella yokai has taken over that spot. Our feud with Buddhism goes back thousands of years. I, just, I don't want to make trouble for the crown prince just for some sweet potatoes, but I'm really craving them. Why? Why would you bury sweet potatoes in your cemetery? Do people, do people from ancient times have no common sense? The Baldies hadn't made that place their cemetery yet when I buried them. We go by order of arrival. I'm the one whom that place belongs to. What does that mean? Beneath that yokai temple lies a giant structure, the Hall of Dreams' Great Mausoleum. That cemetery was originally the entrance to the Great Mausoleum. Why did you build? Why did you build it underground? We didn't build it underground. This happened 1,400 years ago. After the conference became a Shikaisen, she slept in the Great Mausoleum, waiting to be revived. But unexpectedly, Buddhism dominated the country for more than a thousand years. Monks used the power of Buddhism to keep the Great Mausoleum sealed, denying the Crown Prince her resurrection. And so, the only thing that she could do was sleep. That's quite a long nap. Afterwards, as time passed, people started to spread vile rumors like the Crown Prince's existence and achievements were all made up. But that was precisely what we wanted. Was that another spelling mistake I saw there? The Crown Prince seized the opportunity to move the Great Mausoleum to Gensokyo. In other words, you were already in Gensokyo before the before the Yokai Temple or Ramyoan Temple was built. Correct. There wasn't a single temple in Gensokyo back then. Unsealed, the Crown Prince would revive could revive against Yoke at any time, but just before the end of her resurrection, that demonic priestess built her temple right on top of it. <laughs> huh, that does sound like too big of a coincidence. After the crown prince was revived, she moved this place, which had been inside the Great Mausoleum, to her own world of, of Senkai. The Divine Spirit Mausoleum was rebuilt, but the Great Mausoleum still retains the, the entrance to it. So that's why there's a cave leading to Senkai in the Temple Cemetery. Now I get it. That's how it is. Hey, why are you just digging for information? Are you helping or not? Huh? Help with what? Help me retrieve the sweet potatoes buried at the Yokai Temple Cemetery. Oh, now I remember. That's a piece of cake. So, I hope you get them right now. Splendid. I'll share with you. I'll share with you, with, with you some of the candied sweet potatoes I made when you get back. Awesome. Sweet potatoes. Here you go. That was quick. Let me see. Oh, these aren't the sweet potatoes I buried. Huh? That's not it. Well, it's fine. Maybe I just remembered wrongly. Thanks, James. Wait a moment. I'll give you some of the candied sweet potatoes when they're done. Yeah, you're welcome. Candy sweet potatoes are good stuff. I'll sell some. In, I'll sell them in my shop too. That'd be great. Senkai doesn't have any suitable places to plant sweet potatoes. I was actually racking my brains over it. And you're welcome to come to my izakaya anytime. Sure thing. All right. And how about you? You, your, yours, various shikigami calculators. What are you doing, Miss Futo? I'm acquainting. No, learning about the modern world. The modern world, the crown prince saith, says I am too disconnected from modern times. To better integrate with such environments, it is imperative I study the common language of Gensokyo. I see, did you know that there's a school in the human village? You should be able to study there. I did did go there, but I was kicked out. Eh? It pains me to say, but ah, were you kicked out for being too slow to keep up with the other children? Nay, twas manageable, something of that level, albeit barely. Why would they kick you out then? At last to speak to you, I'm, I'm quite welcome... I was quite welcome there. I hath made friends with the children very quickly. Good for you. After printing them, I hath brought them to start some fires and... Wait, wait, wait. Did you skip something? Why are you suddenly starting fires? Every scholar dreams of burning down their place to study. Tis common sense, is it not? Huh? Really? For most of such thoughts remain only in fantasy, yet as one skilled in the arts of fire, and no matter how you put it, starting fires with children is a bit... If thou hast a hobby like thee like, Thou wouldst want to share it with friends, correct? Such common sense is timeless, I believe. Well, I guess that's true. Therefore, I lit the smallest of flames at the school that day, yet I was discovered. Kana sensei is a very generous teacher as long as it isn't something, anything serious. The consequences shouldn't be dire, provided it wasn't a full moon night. 
'Twas indeed a full moon night. To think that on such an alluring night she wouldst be grading papers within the school. What's what's wrong with that? Couldst thou imagine an enraged half beast dashing through the flames? <laughs> the children were terrified. So what happened after that? Night nightmares and sleepless nights plagued the children for many moons. Their parentals complained to even the crown prince. I understand, I understand not. Tis not me who scared the children. You're even blaming Kana Sensei now. In short, the crown prince said I lack common sense and further stays with humans would upset the reputation of hermits. Thereafter, I was called back. Oh, Miss Miko doesn't have to ha have it easy either. Nor I must rely on self-learning now. Even as I wade through the river between past and present, the common sense of Gensoko is entirely another beast. Don't look so down. I know. Since you've been hardworking, why don't I treat you to something tasty? Very allow me to thank thee in advance. Strength boosting. All right, back to Yokai Trail to m make some stuff and complete quests. Strength boosting and something using pine nut. This should be strength boosting. And back we go. Here you go. Such a dish fills me with motivation. Now you can put yourself together and work hard. But as a Taoist, surely there are dishes be better fitting. A dish fit for a Taoist? Indeed, there doth exist a Taoist master with the surname Q. Q? He lived a life of solitary in the mountains. They say he wore pine flowers and ate pine nuts, drank pine breeze beside pine creeks. Pine what? Immense hath he hath, lie a, hath a life of hardship, subsisting only on pine nuts, kept company only by wind trees. Dang it, Siren! Only pine nuts? That sounds so sad. That wouldn't make a good dish at all. Nay. From that name states long-term consumption of pine nuts, better, nuts betters one's lifespan. Hence, we just believe it to be a much better, a much beneficial health supplement. In days of your Taos priest would prepare for his fasting with such nutritious nuts. So that's how it is. Since it's that good, let me try making some simple dishes with it too. Good if that was comes to fruition, it shall surely save our dis disciples much work. Pine nut cake. And we'll make three of them. Because Chen wants them. <laughs> when did you show up? Anyways, I guess I should actually give them to her. <laughs> Much better. So this just extends your lifespan. Not exactly like cat's cup of tea. That's part agreement. I'll renovate your shop for you. Don't get too comfortable here. Remember to do business in other locations. Alright, finish my chores for the day, then open up. Alright, let's open up up here. Give Nito a much higher chance to show up. We're doing four things on the pot. Because I'm running out of shrimp. All booze, all the time. Alright, let's sell things. And Moji, Moji's gonna show up and start a uh, parade of people. Start getting the buffs going. Oh, hi, Sanae. Coming along for some of that okonomiyaki. Tasty treats, tasty treats. You want a sweet beverage? With cream for that home cooking goodness. Happy Sanae. More of this for Sanae. With a bitter beverage. Give you expensive booze. Hi, Momiji. Now you want photogenic. That's still pretty photogenic. Fruity beverage. Incoming lame. Momiji likes this stuff. And what's Mako want? Something hot. Well, that's just the thing for her. And lame wants something cheap. Of course she does. She wants a, of course she does. She wants a sweet rice ball. Oh, Mako left quickly. Alright, now people are showing up. I see a Nitori fishing for buffs again. Get a hyper mode going. Incoming Kaguya. All right, you want premium dishes, premium pickles, strange premium pickles, and give you some sake. Here you go, Nitori. It's time for some extending arm. And give the Guya one of give her miso with something a little extra. Do you want a signature dish now? That's pretty signature. It's good with alcohol. Can I make it strange? She wants a neat beverage too. I know she always likes these kinds. And now Guya wants modern. Extending arm. Let's go back in time some more. How about you? You want something strange? Strange pickles. Going farther back in time. Keep going back in time. Keep giving you the same thing. And you want something to go with... Something to go with alcohol. I mean, pickles. Strange pickles. 
with a neat beverage. Right, you get that, you get that. Neat Lee wants more. Wants something salty. Well, pickles! I'm guessing this covers all of Kaguya's tags. Need my buffs again. Oh, hyper mode! Alright, this should finish Nitori off. I guess Kaguya wanted to actually try something. Horai branch. Wagyu pork ven venison. Bamboo. This. And Marisa wants her mushrooms. With chillable. I have lots of these. She gets one of these. Expensive booze. Alright, here you go, Kaguya. Try this. Kind of like it. And you're done. Alright, how about you? Something good with alcohol, meat, greasy, mountain delicacy, large portion, and card. Same thing for Mommy Mommy. Never gonna be able to keep up with all these people. Keep giving you the same thing over and over again. Keep giving Marisa the same thing over and over again. I see a Cherno and a Tenchi in there, but it looks like they're not gonna make it through the lineup. Momiji happens to be eating a lot too. Hyper mode! Alright, looks like coming towards the end of the night, so... Start serving everybody from here. Bye guys! Going through so much tofu! This is what happens when shit's popular! And did it! Selling all this stuff! 81 guests! And 25 spell cards! And diesel statue! Start off way out here. Pretty sure Momiji reached the next one, right? Yep, definitely! Miss Momiji's pretty rare seeing you practicing Kendo. Ah, proprietress. While it's extremely rare for us to engage in combat, we can never stop training. Or else when the time comes, we won't be ready. Miss Momiji occasionally complains about work, but she's always rigorous when it comes to her job. Of course, you can only complain if you did a good job. Otherwise, others will complain about you instead. You're indeed a responsible Tengu. Speaking of Tengu, why are all wolf Tengu swordsmen? Maybe it has something to do with that legend. Legend? Supposedly there was this general who got killed during a battle. He had a son who was sent to a temple. After this child learned about his past, he decided to avenge his father and trained on the mountain every day. Every day. Seems like humans have a lot of folklore like that. And one day he encountered Tengu while training. Whoa, was he eaten? Well, according to legend, not only did the Tengu let him go unharmed, they also agreed to teach him their sacred sword techniques. Why would they do that? Don't ask me, legends are born from human imagination after all. Who knows if the legend is actually true or not? However, because Yokai are born from those legends, we have to conform, conform to them as well. Does that mean White Wolf Tengu are all great swordsmen just because the legend says so? <laughs> Maybe? Hmm, I feel kind of threatened knowing that my existence can change just because humans change their mind. That's why Yokai know that winning in a... Winning an information war is more important than winning an actual war. Hey, really? The competition between Yokai is fierce, even if you are not particularly affected by it. Looks like the higher-ups have a lot to worry about. Hey, maybe ignorance actually is bliss. Might as well just leave the headaches to them. And you're absolutely right. Leave the trouble still as big shots. We just need to eat meat and drink alcohol like we always do. <laughs> I was training hard just now. To be frank, I wanted to eat a long time ago, but I, but I was chatting with you. You have to admit that I'm starving already. However, I didn't know my stomach would growl that loudly as soon as I mentioned meat. I'm so sorry. You should have let me know right away. As an apology, may I cook something for you? Of course you may. Thank you so much. Miss Nishi, what are you doing with all these gadgets? I'm praying for the next cup of cat. How, how time flies. It's wait, it hasn't been that long since the last cup of cat, has it? If we don't start preparing as soon as the convention ends, there might not be enough time. That said, there's always not enough time. And that's really far sighted. So what kind of gadget are you going to make this time? I've been ex experimenting here and there. I haven't thought about what, to, what I'm going to do next. So why did you bring up so many gadgets then? I wanted to learn from my past dimensions and find some inspiration. Did you make all these in the past? They look so cool. Of course, these are my greatest works. I think I've seen this one before. This is a camera. It's a gadget that can be used to record the landscape on paper. Why do you want to put landscapes on paper? It's so that I can remember it. If you just take a picture to remember, then you'll miss the opportunity to appreciate it in your heart, right? Yes, however, the general public and so you can't use them. This gadget is made for for the Crow Tengu. Oh, so, so wonder I'd seen it somewhere before. It's a gadget used by the Crow Tengu. The Crow Tengu can't live without it. They're a big customer of ours. We've been optimizing it and made them in various shapes and sizes. Even with the steady stream of customers, you need to keep innovating. I see. Then what's this gadget for? This is a vacuum. It's a gadget that can automatically help clean up. Do you want to try? How do I use it? Just press this button to start it. Wow, the fallen leaves are all gone. They get sucked into the stomach of the gadget. That's terrible. Is this really not a prank by some Shinigami? 
Of course not. I'm sure it would be handy for you to have it in the, in the store. It's an old model anyway, so I'll give it to you. No, no, if it eats my cooking, that would be a problem. That's okay, I wasn't forcing you. What's this? A telephone. It's a device that allows you to send your voice to faraway places. Send your voices to faraway places? With this, you can say hello to your friends thousands of miles away. We've been doing a promotion recently and have been giving out trials to quite a few people's homes. Everyone could use them would save a lot of time. I'd like to try it out too, if that's okay. Of course. But you have to give me some good feedback on your experience. Well, it's not... It's not as good as this amazing device, but if you don't mind, I have a VIB ticket for the concert. If you're free, please come attend it in the future. A concert, this could be an important business opportunity. Of course, I won't miss that kind of fun. I look forward to seeing you there, then. All right, finish Nitori and cup a heavy-duty telephone. Gotta set up that telephone. All right, we have a phone here now, so it's like... I would like to commission all of you to do all my slaves. And it sends all of them out. And I can just... You can buy everything if you wanted to. But I don't need everything from everyone. I definitely need tofu, though. <laughs> it just lets me buy all the stuff that I need from home. It's so much easier. I wish she sold more of these. So as long as you've talked to the merchant, you can phone them up. You can invite, but you can only invite, I think, those that you have rank 4 with. So I've done all my purchasing. We'll get my froggy coins. Alright, Momiji wants meat. Just have a beef beef bowl. Here you go, Momiji. And your food is just the best. All meat feast. Momiji really like really, li really likes meat. I'm a canine after all. Can we understand? We beast your guys still preserve some animal instincts after all. That's why I'm trying to develop a new recipe. Since there are so many tengu here, I might as well just create an all meat feast and go all out. I'm drooling just from the name alone. This dish will absolutely be super popular here. I can start it right away. Please make sure to visit my Isekai and give it a try. So I'll make sure I invite you. Over to the bamboo forest. Okay, the Hodai branch I made was quite unusual, right? Using kebabs all kinds of meat to mimic the actual legend of Hodai branch? That's too vulgar. Hey, but it was pretty well conceived by everyone else. Vulgar but entertaining nonetheless. A Hodai branch growing meat. This is truly something that only the residents of Earth could come up with. Did it at least taste good? Yes, it did. I was already full after one kebab. That kind of design has its own convenience. Seeing this kind of view from you just makes me want to try even harder. Keep it up. I'm curious what kind of flower you can grow out of, out of your neck, out of your own corruption. Alright, you should come along too. You should come too. See, I purchased all my stuff. Get all my work, get all my stuff for my slaves. I want to open up rank 3 here. Should go with rank 2 and try to feed these people what they need. Or will rank 3 show up? Like, oh, I guess I'll need the rank 3 recipes probably to open up the rank 3 stuff. I want people to go in and out fast. My tofu is disappearing. Should go 3-3 three, three, and 2. Alright, let's open with this. Just six tables. I like it was not in 3-3, three, three, it's in 4-2. And then new DDR patterns. Oh, here comes Yamame. <laughs> strange and sweet. She wants to try this anyways. And it's raw strange. She likes sweet and photogenic as well. She likes sweet beverages, but she also likes beer. She wants to try these out anyways. Here you go. Useless buff for now. That makes people stay if there's a lineup. Alright, you, you can have some beer. Oh, there's a McCall. Fruits. I'm just gonna give you the same thing that you always like. And this. And a dry beverage. We're gonna keep Yamame there. Hi, Yugi! What was Yugi after? Oh yeah, the meat thing here. With beef. Lion's head. Now, she likes a lot of different tags. Good with alcohol signature. Legendary and large, large potion she, portion she likes. And trend popular. There you go. It's gonna be orange because I didn't. Because I ignored one of her tags. Don't have much for aura bursting. Can't add fruity or sweet to it either. Maybe we can try with. This. We can add a sweet fruity to it. And spicy. Wants well, Japanese and beer. Have a neat beer. And I will give Moko back to her regular stuff. Here, Yuki, have this type of miso soup. And Moko can have this. What are you looking for? Savory dishes. Shall I wait towards the end in case there's still a lineup? I want Kaguya to make it. Alright, something goes good with sake. I mean, just add radish. Here, Moko, try that. It's orange. Here's Yugi's special big miso. Alright, what did Odin want? Neko mama. Trout flower dew. 
And let's add Strange and Sweet to it. And a suck at low alcohol. Here you go. Now what do you want now? Jimmy, give, give me a dish that goes well with suck at. And some vintage beverage. Fruity beverage. Just give you this again. And better me so. Alright, now you want dreamy. Dreamy! Alright, you have a special miso. You have this. <laughs> Happy Odin! Alright, and random Marisa as well. Turn back time. Alright, what did Percy want to try? Misery cheese stick. Cheese ginkgo ginkgo. I don't she like salty savory. She hates trend popular. <laughs> we'll add some meat. Meat savory salty. Oh, that's spicy to it as well. I think she likes coffee. Alright, there's your special miso. Here you go, Parsi. Have that. Oh, Momiji wants the all-meat feast. Boar meat. Boar venison. Pork wagyu. And all. Is that already good with alcohol? Yeah, it's already good with alcohol. And has mountain delicacy, which she likes. There's meat. And large portions. So it literally covers like everything that Momiji likes. The only thing that's missing is greasy. Does that have greasy on it? Add butter, make it greasy. <laughs> and Yamuna's patience is still fine because I've always had hyper mode on. Alright, here's your all meat feast. And here comes the crowd. I'll have to give you another all meat feast. Hey, I got my ingredients back, sweet! So meaty! Give Muddy Star her usual. I probably should work on making Yamama happy now. Of course, Tenshi wants the cock. Party time! Party time! Oh, Yamama didn't stay very long. You guys can hang on for an extra few seconds. Alright, bye guys. Alright, did it. Extra serving of salad. That's my dinner. Serving so many guests. Chief Mate's consignment and Mildwood is no longer popular. First of all, you guys can all work for me. Now I'll buy all my stuff. Later, at the same time, I can just go buy everything. Alright, it looks like Moko is done. Hi, Moko! Miss Moko, are you guiding those humans again? It's nothing, just trying to kill some of my infinite time. Miss Moko, you're just pretending. You sound tough, but in your heart, you're still a kind individual. Why are you always pretending and trying to isolate yourself from others? I don't need to interact with others. It doesn't matter where I'm at. I'm always just a freak. I'll be happy if they're less involved with me. Is that really the case? Isn't that the truth? I heard one of my guests mentioning that there was once a human needing urgent care at Aente. You guided and guarded him until he reached the destination. He wanted to thank you, but you had already disappeared. He was asking everyone where he went, trying to repay what you had done for him. During the process, he discovered that you had helped countless other people. I already told you I'm just killing time. But for them, you're their hero. Really, someone like me. is actually considered as a hero in their eyes. Even when you're trying to avoid additional... Contact, you already created many bonds silently. Gensoka nowadays is getting more and more amusing. I got to witness this entertaining world thanks to my never-ending life. Right? Right? Ever since the Greek barrier was created, yokai and humans are getting closer and closer to each other. There's always something fun going on every day. Looking back, single-mindedly focusing on killing Kelgi was indeed too wasteful. That's what I've been trying to tell you. While you have suffered greatly thanks to her, you cannot d deny immortality has its own perks, right? I couldn't have witnessed this miracle that happened 1300 years later if not for the fact that I can't die, and I can't understand the loneliness of someone with a similar ability either. If you understand now, then why don't you start running? What? I mean, stop being confined to your past. Look forward to the future. Start living with such a mindset and start running in your new life. That's quite an inspiration. No, even coming from you. Unfortunately, I don't have a direction yet. Didn't you mention that you were going to open a barbecue restaurant? I told you, that was made up. I'm really not interested in all. Generally speaking, even if it's something made up, it's still something that came to your mind earlier, right? Even so, I have no business, exper business experience at all. Even after living for so long, hmm, how about this? Could you gather ingredients for me? That way you can accumulate some knowledge about how to select the higher quality ones. Get ingredients? Yeah, why not? It's not like I have anything else to do e either. Really, that's great. I don't have much time... I don't have enough time to do everything in one day. There's just too much. I am nothing but time. It's not a problem giving some to you. Speaking of that... Asayoka, why are you working so hard? There are many reasons, however, I hope when I have enough money from my Izakai I can host a fabulous solo concert. Solo concert. By then I'll invite humans, yokai, fairies, ghosts, and every other race of Gen and Gensokyo. It will be a super epic Gensokyo style concert. Well, that sounds super interesting. At this concert, I guarantee that my songs will touch your heart. You definitely th thank yourself for being alive. That is some wishful thinking right there. However, I really enjoy your energy. Therefore, please come to my concert no matter what. Of course, I look forward to it with, all with every cell in my body. Alright, rank 5. Please gather for me. 
Miss Moko, can I ask you to gather in greens for me today? Of course, I promised early. Great, I always thought there's not enough time when I do everything by myself. I have way too much time in my hands. It's not a problem to give some to you. I'll get going right now. I should have no problem delivering everything to you before you open. Thank you so much! Shrine stuff. And now I get to visit everybody here. Hi, Yamame. Now I understand why eating crispy sparrows scare people away. And the cave is very dark, and if there's insect shells sticking to your mouth, it does look rather creepy. Yeah, but if everyone eats it, wouldn't it be fun to look at each other's messy faces and laugh together? <laughs> that scene is pretty amusing. That's what you call youth. Sweet, welcome to the underworld. If a human touches you, what kind of disease do they normally get? More than likely, an unexplainable high fever and a loss of appetite. If they neglect their body and allow it to weaken, it might even lead to death. That's serious! Moreover, a human who returns to the village with the disease might spread it to other humans. Don't worry, I know I'm not welcome, so you won't ever see me at the village. Miss Yamame. It's like inviter to the village. It kind of terrifies me. Oh, is it because your abilities are polar opposites? No, no, because no, like because a while back, a tank reporter told me about a strange doctor living in the bamboo forest. So the doctor was making medicine to sell to humans. She thought that there was a need to ascertain the safety of her medicine, so she asked me for help. By help, you mean she just had me test the medicine. Apparently, the white wolf tengu were fine after taking the medicine, but not even after ten seconds, I was already convulsing on the floor. <laughs> There's no way such would take well to medicine. Don't eat, don't eat random things from heartless reporters. Where should I open today? I can invite you guys now. Hi, Price Miss Wesley. I'm here to get feedback for the Misery Cheese Sticks. To think you'd grasp the recipe of the Misery Cheese Sticks so soon. Your talent in calling arts is really making me jealous. As long as you like it. Miss Price, I find that the view from the bridge never gets old. I admire the bridge's flowers as you admire atop a tower. Huh? What tower? <laughs> Miss Price, does every bridge have a Hashime? Of course. Is it because all Hashime are jealous beings, so they can't, so they can't get along with each other on friendly terms? This day, I've never seen another Hashime. But for people like us who make the underworld their home, no one would want to be on friendly terms with us. Oh, I was actually hoping to become friends with everyone. Miss Percy, what does jealousy taste like? Have you gone mad from cooking? Jealousy is a feeling. How could it have a taste? If it has no taste. You won't feel happy no matter how much you eat. Even if you rely on jealousy to sustain yourself, try a few dishes at my ease. Like, I can't hurt, right? I guess trying something different every once in a while isn't too bad. Andrew's got pretty crowded, so I should be able to collect large amounts of jealousy. I look forward to your visit, but please don't stoke the jealousy of my customers. Hi, Yugi. I'm here to get feedback on Lion's Head. That dish has always been the go-to dish for wine lovers. When it goes through your hands, when it goes through your hands, I'd say all other competition just flies out of the window. As long as everyone likes it. Not just like it's already at the height of popularity now since it's become an essential part of an Oni's breakfast. You have them for breakfast? And chaos is order. The former capital is constructed by the Oni, but there's many other types of yokai living here. When things be stealth, only yo Oni were around. S especially yokai who have abilities or personalities that might be despised by humans. They're all seemingly moved to the underworld. This place is more chaotic than the surface, so all the undesirable, especially those that humans dislike, love to make this place their home. Due to certain reasons, the only welcome all the yokai that were deceived by the surface with open arms. Huh, nice to, nice to see how how much of a melting pot this place is nowadays. Chaos has order, as I say. I'm a bit curious as to what the, those reasons are. Miss Yugi seems to be really enjoying herself. Let's not ruin her good mood. A while back, some humans came here to investigate some kind of black water gushing onto the surface. Black water? The black water comes from the former Hell's Forbidden Area. It's a cursed liquid. Rumors say it can bring untold riches if you put it to good use. But rumors also say it'll invite disaster upon anyone who gets their hands on it. Cursed fortune, I wouldn't want that no matter what. Black gold? Texas tea? Miss Yugi, you're bathing in the hot springs again. Being in the hot springs feels nice, plus it gets rid of fatigue. Fatigue, you should give it a try sometime. Wouldn't it feel much nicer if you had a scrumptious meal after the bath? Oh? I have my best wine and food ready. Feel free to come replenish some energy at my shop when you're done bathing. I am one for making plans. If it comes after my bath, I'll consider. If it comes after my bath, I'll consider it after my bath. Yeah, you try out your food. Oh, yeah, I'm here to get feedback on the Neko Mama. You're amazing. You really can make any dish imaginable. I can't say I'm able to cook every dish, but this one was very simple to make. Maybe the recipe is simple, but the love salted salmon put into dishes for me isn't simple at all. Right? I need to put my heart and soul into every dish I make as well. All right, rank two. What's inside your cart? You wouldn't be interested. Hey, when you put it like that, it just makes me more curious. All right, I'll let you sneak a peek then. Wait, I suddenly remembered you're Akasha. You just aren't storing corpses, corpses inside, are, are you? I am. Didn't you want to see them? I just remember there's something I need to do. See you. If a cat jumped over a corpse, the corpse will come back to life. Now, oh, that urban legend is pretty popular. Is it true? Of course not. It wouldn't be funny at all if my hard-earned corpse came back to life. But I heard a customer say he saw it happen firsthand. That's just a fairy's playing zombie. <laughs> Forgot to invite you. Anyone want yourself to go see? Momiji. I'm going all the way up here. Besides, I need Momiji to become another slave. Hi, Momi Momi. How did you like my all-meat feast? A small mountain worth of super premium meat, all purif 
purified by charcoal fire, luring me with their aroma. Was it okay? Okay, it's terrific. It activated my primal instinct just from the smell alone. I haven't felt this alive since I was just an ordinary wolf. As long as you like it. Press, would you like to play shogi with me? Uh, I don't know how. Don't worry, we can play the we can play the beginner version. I don't even know the beginner version. It's super easy. You just need to defend your king, gold general, silver general, knight, and lance with your pawns. I'm illiterate and don't know which piece is which. <laughs> there's a huge crowd gathered at the mountain entrance today. That's because there's a celebration on the mountaintop shrine. A lot of villagers want to visit there using the ropeway. I remember if the ropeway connects the bottom of the mountains to the mountaintop, right? Is it safe? Of course it's safe. We're here after all. Hey, you're responsible for the safety of those humans? Nope, our job is to scare them when they're halfway up the mountain. <laughs> Question marks? Tankers will scare them and the gods in the shrine will then bless them. That way both parties get something in return. Humans can free yokai and gods get their faith. Even the couple get financial compensation for maintaining the ropeway. What a perfectly fraudulent tourist scheme. <laughs> Fuck it, let's go over time. Yay, material. Precious, here's the ingredients I promised you earlier. Thank you so much. I feel like I'm getting more and more used to it. Maybe I can really have a barbecue restaurant in the future. Who knows? I was open here and try to feed some other people. Why is Patchy heading over here? Should I use the basic lineup? Ten cooks 10% faster. All booze. So many recipes in this game. Alright, let's try this. Actually, maybe I should just use the tip stuff. I need the NPCs to drop by so I can give them their stuff. The special ones, the rare guests. <laughs> Three notes. Alright, Odin's coming back. And Alice appears. Bacteria grows on rotten food, so fresh food is better. That's actually savory, is what she wants. This thing's pretty savory. Make it strange. Make you happy. Sweet food. There, it's sweet. Not gonna work as much overtime as I usually do. Happy... Happy cat! What does their spell card do? For the next 3 seconds, serving beverages tagged with mid-alcohol will result in the best rating. Sea delicacy. Make her some creamy crab. It's savory, it's sea delicacy. Not aquatic? We'll make it aquatic. Fucking make it sweet too. And strange. She's gonna be like, this is the best thing ever! Alright, what do you want? Home cooked. And bitter. Sakura always likes coffee. <laughs> and she wanted sakura pudding, honey peach, and home cooked. So it's a small portion, specialty sweet. So we'll add home cooking to it. Give her some sakura pudding. So she uses a random spell card if she appreciates you. Oh, here, here, have the best thing ever. Happy memory, jealousy, and overdraft. That makes all the customers have the, the, uh, what is it, budget of the highest person. Let's make the same thing for Satori. Oh, she wants some more of the, uh... Oh, here comes Utsu. She wants more of that, uh, what is it? Specialty shit. And creamy crab. Alright, here you go, Satori. Uh oh Satori's causing problems now! We're gonna have influx of White Wolf Tengu. Speaking of White Wolf Tengu... Alright, Utsu only something greasy. Egg and cheese, and it's pretty greasy. Can't add meat. Can make it spicy, though. And you want a cocktail. This is pretty much the one that she likes. It's mid-alcohol and modern. Or, sorry, uh, cocktail and mid-alcohol. She also likes heatable. Are there, are there good cocktails? This one would work, too. Alright, Utsu, oh, here we go. And here we go with the Tengu again. Well, things are heating up. I'm good with alcohol. Hot food. Super hot. I mean, she likes strength boosting. Hot strength boosting and meat are things that she likes. So you can add spicy, salty... Also use up her budget quickly. <laughs> now that I've fed her what she wants. Instant cooking here. Mid-alcohol and large portion. I can do that. What are you looking for? I'm- I'm ready to- I'm ready to eat till I pop. <laughs> it's gotta be a large portion. I can make it good with alcohol too. And vintage high alcohol. Here you go, Yugi. Also, with Utsuho's buff, it makes you, for the next 154 seconds, 
Boing Pond Steamer finish immediately. So I hope people order from those a lot. You like high alcohol. You want something that goes good with sake. Here, try this miso. Drink lots of Godfathers. Classic cocktail. Man, Yugi's eating a lot. You want something Japanese? Exact same thing. Eat up, Yugi. Whoa, suddenly booze. Time is running out. Oh, Parsi made it. The taste of jealousy is sour. This one's easy, Lion's Head. Meat savory. She wanted sour, right? No alcohol and neat works for her. M meat and milk! Parsi didn't eat a lot. Sorry guys, time is running out. Bye guys! Aw, oh, poor Guya. Alice has been here all day, all night, and hasn't gotten anything. But you're getting eat me's. Anyway, wait till there's about 17 seconds left. Actually, fuck it, eat it now. And then she just leaves immediately. Alright, not much over time. This cooks instantly still. Instant! For 870 seconds? Oh, that's the uh, Tengu one. Still a bit of profit. Miss Akiyu's washi- oh, I forgot to do Sakuya's thing there. And the little kitty tells you Chen has a new Izekai upgrade task. Alright, so I got my phone, I've started working on the, uh, the hell people, and I still have Kaguya to finish off. So next time I might be able to get best ending? Is it just the non-DLC characters? I guess there's one way to find out. Thanks for watching! Did you like this video? If you did, hit that like button, leave a comment, and share it with your friends. You can click on the left button to subscribe, and the right one to watch more of Mistia's Izakaya. Eat, eat, Yuyuko eats!